sage incense, personal readings, and much more on my website. Let's get it. Virgo's coming with the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Something here is definitely not over with the Death card to the Four of Wands. You guys could have been dealing with an Aries, a Scorpio. Uh, heavy on the Scorpio, Virgos, and an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. So Virgo, something here is definitely not over between the two of you guys. Somebody here may also be afraid that they may have lost this connection, but the connection does not seem like it's been lost at all, Virgos. It's the Death card to the Four of Wands. You guys are going to have a reunion with this person when they come back towards you. I expect communication coming in from them, but... Whatever it is that this person's saying to you, make sure that they're not gaslighting you as well with the Eight of Wands, Five of Sword. To the full card, this person could is going to end up tripping on their own feet is from what I'm seeing here. So if this person reaches out to you and they're going to start pathologically lying to you or lying to you or manipulating you with what it is that they're saying to you, just make sure that you guys are going to be aware of it with the full card upright, Virgos. You guys are going to know that this person is being a trickster, a joker here as well, uh, Five of Swords, Virgos. You guys might not want anything to do with this person, but the more so the fact that I don't see you guys giving up. It's the fact that when this person's reaching out to you with the Eight of Wands, they are gaslighting you. They are going to be manipulative as well. And you guys may not want nothing to do with this person either. Um, but I do see that you guys are going to have a reunion with this person. And you guys are going to see them, whatever the case is. That's the world card right there, okay? You guys may have been having a lot of disagreements here. But at the end of the day, they are going to be coming towards you. You don't want nothing to do with the fighting, the drama, the bitching. You don't want to have, you don't want to hear nothing, Virgos, at the end of the day. And <clears throat> you guys are going to continue to still be that very beautiful person, very grounded. You're you're good to go at the, as well, Virgos. And the cherry card, you're going to continue to move forward. This person's coming back towards you guys, no matter what. They're still coming back for you. And they don't want to fight with you either with the five of wands in reverse. And... If this person's not going to fight with you, then yeah, you're down for them. But if they're going to continue to be selfish and thinking only about themselves and being petty, you're not going to want nothing to do with it. You will turn your back away from this person as well. Uh, Taurus energy, this person from the past misses you very, very much. So this person seems to be dreaming about you and thinking about you a whole lot here too. Um, somebody might be very much so delirious as well, Virgos, with the full card and the seven of cups to the, what is that? Six of cups energy. <laughs> Definitely thinking about you, delirious, and yeah, Virgos. Um, yeah. You guys just want to be happy. You guys just simply want to be happy, Virgos. You guys know that you guys can bring everything to the table, but this person here, they continue to still be selfish and giving people people attention here with the Six of Pentacles, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You might not be... Uh, you guys might be very much so doubtful because at the end of the day, you guys are looking at the Nine of Cups. You guys are wanting... You guys... <laughs> you guys are wanting the nine of cups you guys want to be emotionally satisfied and emotionally happy right and if this person is not able to bring you a commitment or a relationship or if they're going to be wanting to be non-committal here too and they're going to be giving to other people six of pentacles no you guys are going to be doubting it because your intuition is literally going to be telling you like hey i don't think that you want to be down for this relationship and whatever you were saying to me up here how you were uh loving me and you still want to be with me and you care about me and you love me like are you doing that just to gaslight this seems a lot of gaslighting virgos so just for them to get you and then still continue to go do be doing their own thing with the six of pentacles there so it's like this person's going to say everything and anything just to have you just for them to continue to be in their player ways uh, with the six of pentacles right a new opportunity is coming towards you guys Which is going to be a little bit hard for you guys to be able to move forward with the six of swords Some of you guys want to move on with this like move on with your life pretty much But when this person comes in and makes an offer towards you It's going to be a little bit hard right some of you guys may or feel very much so overwhelmed And this person wants to make sure that they get you back But at the end of the day it doesn't look like you guys are going to want to Bring this energy back towards you because this person brought you in a lot of sadness a lot of misery A lot of stress here too Four of Pentacles in reverse, you might release it and let it go and let this person know I, you don't, you're not down for it. But you guys have a lot of healing you have to do still. And you guys are on that path, Virgo. So you guys are moving slowly and steady. A lot, Both of you guys are feeling very sad in this connection with the Five of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. This person's coming in fast because they want to see you. They want to be around you. But you guys are both suffering with the Five of Cups energy just because of the fact that it looks like there may have been a lot of separation between the two of you guys. And things have just been really chaotic as well so expect you guys to both meet up with each other you guys are going to see each other everything's going to be fine but there is a lot of sadness that's going to be coming out of it with the five of cups a lot of bitterness here as well and that's more so because of the fact that all the bullshit all the drama all the i love you one day i don't love you the next day i care about you one day i giving to other people i trusted you one day and then you're still giving to other people 
and you just don't have time for the petty shit anymore. You're just ready to move on with your life, but there's still going to be a little bit of confusion because this person's still going to come back towards you. Somebody here doesn't even have a lot of money with the Six of Pentacles, and they're always having to ask somebody else for money. And, and yeah, Virgos, uh, at the bottom of the deck, you got the Devil card. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person's going to be reaching out to you. This person's been going through a lot of heartache because they know what they've done to you. They're more so obsessed with your beauty and obsessed with who it is that you are. They see that you're living your best life, living your best life, and you're being recognized by other people. You have a lot of suitors that are going to be coming towards you, and it's going to be breaking a lot of people's heart because at the end of the day, you're going to have to choose one person, Virgos, not four and five and six. You have to choose one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so cute. Gross. Okay, three of swords to the two of pentacles. Um, and this person is going to be reaching out to you. They're going to tell you how they've been heartbroken before, how they've been through a lot of pain as well. Uh, this person finds you very beautiful, Virgos. They do. They recognize you. They see you. They keep going back and forth. Like, do I want to be in a relationship? Am I going to find love? Do I, they just don't want to go through the same heartache again, but please understand that whoever it is that you guys are dealing with, I'm pretty sure that the one that you want to be with is going to be loyal to you. So for the one who's so heartbroken, who's not sure if they should give their cup of love or their love to this person, that's going to be a gamble. You're going to have to take two of pentacles. You're going to have to gamble that because at the end of the day, everyone's going to break your heart no matter what. Someone out here is going to break your heart. Everybody breaks everybody's heart. You have to choose which person is worth it to break your heart enough that you guys are still going to be able to put deal with it, put through it, go through it, and then overcome it and still find, find a way to be okay because it looks like at the end of the day, you guys are still going to be okay. Ace of Swords, look at that. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This person really wants to be with you. They want to talk to you. They want to express to you how they feel about you. They adore you. They think you're beautiful. They think you're handsome they see you as someone that they can definitely make a proposal to make a relationship with and they love the fact that you're the nine of pentacles you're independent you're self-sufficient you don't need nothing from nobody yes you've been heartbroken they've also been heartbroken but are you going to allow your heartbreak to keep you in a position where you're not going to find love are you not going to want to experience love are you not going to want to experience anything Anything more than what you've already been through, of course, you're going to want to experience life, Virgos. This is your life. You have to experience it. You have to go through it. You have to enjoy it. You have to meet people. You have to learn what it is that you want and learn what it is that you don't want. Things are okay. Never tell yourself, why do I have to always go through this stuff? It's because you have to go through lessons and it is what it is at the end of the day, right, Virgos? So do expect this person to be contacting you, telling you how they feel about you. And you guys are just sitting so lavishly, Virgos. You're so beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. You guys are sitting really, really nice, and the fact that you don't, uh, you, you don't press this person, like you, you're never pressing this person at all. You, you know, do what you want to do, you know. And because you have that character within yourself, they're always going to be so attracted to that, you know. You, nobody likes clingy. <laughs> nobody likes a clingy person. Nobody needs likes a needy person either. You always want to find someone who's so much on a frequency that you do your thing, I do my thing. You live your best life, I live my best life. And we're still together and our and our loyalty to each other is 100. That's what you need. You need a person who's going to be able to be a power couple for you, right? So do expect communication coming in from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. This person may need to retreat and rest for a little bit. Somebody here may want to go on a vacation too with the Four of Swords. But even if they were to, they were gonna, they're still going to come back for you, okay? Somebody here may also have been in jail. It looks like if the person's been in jail, they're going to be coming back out of it as well. All right, somebody here is also getting uh, uh, divination, uh, uh, what, <laughs> dreams. <laughs> All right, Virgos, it is going to be stressing this person out a whole lot. If you guys went into a connection with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person's not going through the best time at the moment. They are suffering a lot. They are sleeping and waking up, sleeping and waking up, normally around the the time of, oh, age, age, uh, someone is aging very fast. <laughs> sad virgos okay four of swords nine of swords this person's waking up between three and four o'clock in the morning um at the end of the day though virgos it is stressing them out a whole lot they ready they want to come back towards you but the thing is this person wants to tell you exactly how it is that they feel they might be cold and detached when they're telling you but at least they're being very much so blunt with you too so that's what you guys need you guys need honesty and uh, this person might be stressing out a little bit about how it is that they want to come come towards you and tell you. So they're stagnated a little bit, but they're going to have to make the correct sacrifices in order for them to come for you. Somebody here may want to move on and go on a trip is saying like this person might not go at the end of the day with the hangman three of wands either. 
All right, you guys got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys are both matching each other's energy. And you might cut throat this person badly that they're not going to feel like you left them in the cold or they don't feel worthy of you anymore. Five of Pentacles, Hermit. You guys are reflecting on the fleet. There's a Virgo here who's reflecting on, on what had happened. Some of you guys may have spoken your truth and said what you needed, what you needed to say to this person. And now this person's looking back at how... It had ended up so this person pretty much could not handle what it is that you were saying to them and because they couldn't handle what it is that you were saying to them virgos they most likely left you guys out on the cold and now they're looking back at why did they do that to you why didn't they just handle it why didn't they just speak up and speak up and tell you what it is that they were feeling why couldn't they just give you an answer they didn't they went straight back into hermit mode and then they started reflecting on what happened and why they did what it is that they did regardless though they are thinking about you quite a bit and they want to come back towards you here so do expect them to reach out to you virgos some of you guys may end up reaching out to them but meh either way they're coming back for you queen of wands page of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn aries leo sagittarius this person sees you and they somebody here sitting in front of the someone here is watches the sunrise virgos as well somebody here likes to wake up very early in the morning and go watch the sun not sunrise oh i said sunrise okay maybe somebody likes, <laughs> maybe somebody likes watching the sunrise and somebody here definitely watches the sun uh sunset and the sunrise either way one six o'clock they said six o'clock somebody here wakes up early in the morning or in the evening time, you see the sunrise or the sunset go down. It's it's either way. One goes up, one goes down. So you guys know exactly which one that is for you guys because only you guys would know that. Uh, some of you guys wake up in the morning to watch the sunrise and some of you guys enjoy the sun, sun setting as well. Uh, but Virgos, you guys have a lot of happiness towards you. Do know that judgment is coming in for this person and they are going to be fighting for the connection with the Seven of Wands. They are going to have to fight and break down your walls at this point, okay? But they are coming back for you because they see you as their happiness, emotional fulfillment. You guys can make a home feel like a home, Queen of Cups. And the Eight of Cups energy. If this person isn't going to be able to take action and give you what it is that you're looking for in a man or a woman, and, and if this is something that's really important for them, they're not going to stop. They're going to continue to fight and get you and be with you at the end of the day, okay? So you guys just don't want nothing to do with drama, and you guys are really quick on walking away, but you guys don't want to walk away, right? And the last thing you're going to want is for having some so much struggles that you don't let this person into your life, that they end up walking away and they leave you alone because they see that you don't, you're, you're not corresponding. You're not putting in the energy. You just simply want to be happy and you want to be in a marriage and you want to get married one day or you guys are and if this person is not going to be able to feel, fulfill that for you, yeah, Virgos, I do see that you guys are going to be walking away, okay? But there has to be healing done with the temperance card there. You guys still need to do work on yourselves as well. Start finding ways to be creative. Start finding ways to actually build a relationship with yourselves and also build a relationship with this person too. It's not going to only be only one person putting in the work into this connection. Two people got to put in the work. If you expect the person to be doing 100 and you're doing 20, then no, the relationship's not going to fit. You see me? So you got to do the work where it goes uh, both ways, okay? <sighs> two of swords. This person is going to be very much so indecisive at a crossroads with the two of swords. Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This person might be asking friends, Three of Pentacles, and how they're going to want to come back towards you and how they're going to be creative to come back for you too because this person has, feels like they need to put a lot of effort into being able to get you guys back again, right? Seven of Pentacles. This person's just sitting there remin reminiscing about you. They're thinking about you a whole lot. Maybe this person's even going through old text messages or even old photos uh, thinking about you, but... They're more so trying to hold themselves together and kind of trying to have like control over the situation with the strength card, but they're realizing it's doing nothing except bringing them lots of burden with the ten of wands. They feel at a loss because they continue trying to hold their hold the hold the power, hold the control, having control. Somebody here has got lots of control issues. Uh, settle down, take it easy, take a time out, and ask yourself why is it that you're so controlling. Or why it is that you want to be controlling or why it is that you're controlling your own self from being able to go back towards a Virgo or whoever it is that you guys are inquiring about Virgos, all right? Um, but it is making this person not feel all that great. They want to come back for you. They're asking their, their brethren about you too, if they should come back, how they want to come back. But at the same time, they're kind of holding themselves too from coming back for you. But at the end of the day, it's a loss for them because instead of them just coming straight for you. They're creating nothing but burden for themselves and stress as well. Two of Cups. They know that you guys are meant to be with each other.
but this person was very much so deceptive on you. They did some, a lot of sneaky shit, and this person thought that they, they thought that they can get away with it. No, they can't. Uh, high priestess, you can't get away with from a high priestess. A high priestess is all knowing. A high priestess is somebody who's very intuitive, someone who's very beautiful, somebody who is a light worker, somebody who can pick up on energy immediately. And if you think that you can come in as a soulmate and then you want to deceive this person, no, you're not going to. No, you're not going to because justice is always going to prevail no matter what. It's always going to prevail. Always. You're not going to hurt a chosen one. You're not going to hurt an anointed one. You're not going to hurt an earth angel. You're going to have to pay for that every time. And as I speak, the justice card is right underneath it, going towards the page of swords and all these other cards. Okay. You see me? So justice card there, Virgos. You're going to get justice for what this person's done to you. And they're going to try and come back and hope that they're going to be able to balance everything out. But you guys already know what this person's about. You already know that they're a thief. They already know that they're, that they're sneaky ass. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, you already know this stuff, Virgo. So they're coming in for communication, but they're going to be a little bit defensive because they already know that you guys caught this person acting like this. You guys are very much so spiritual Virgos. You guys are definitely taking care of yourselves. You guys have somebody here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Libra who might be stalking you, spying on you, maybe on through a fake account. Be aware, Virgos, if anyone's who's trying to who's trying to steal your sunshine, okay? You guys are the star. That's who your energy is. You guys go into a room, you bright it the fuck up because that's the energy that you that you guys have uh, within yourselves. Now this person's all wounded, Virgos. You guys got people spying on you for real though. A group of people might be spying on you too to see what's up. And yeah, Virgos, Eight of Swords. These people are not wishing anything but bad on you with the Eight of Swords energy. They want you to be stressed out. They don't want you to feel good either. These people think that they may have gotten away with it, but they did not, Virgos. Now they're going to have to sit there and watch their back as well uh, from the same group of people that they may have tried to send your way. Also, Virgos, this person's thinking about you. They are trying to find ways to come back for you. Expect this person to come back for you guys where you guys are going to be actually able to heal the situation. But I do see that you guys are going to have a lot of stress as well when they come back to being with you, Virgo. They are, might be even receiving their karma with the Wheel of Fortune, all right? Uh, but you guys are going to be sitting in your power. You're going to be sitting in your power. You're emotionally balanced. You're very fair. You're very loving. You're kind. You're caring. You have control of the situation, and nobody can tell you nothing. You guys are coming in as a big boss. There's a lot of women out here right now who are showing up as an emperor. You know your energy very well. You guys are coming in as an emperor, Virgos. Female energy, specifically who I'm talking to, the big boss females, the ones who have their own businesses, the ones that have control over their life, the ones who don't let nothing phase them, the ones that are always good at the end of the day, no matter what you bring towards this person, they're going to always be good. You guys been showing up as an emperor for quite some time, and I want you guys to know that if you guys come in as an emperor, fucking empress at this point, Virgos, you guys are coming in as an emperor, you have everything under control, you're powerful as hell, and a lot of people may not, can't, can't handle somebody like you, so for that, you become intimidated, intimidating, you're not intimidated, you're not intimidating, they're intimidated by you, uh, emperor, king of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but at the end of the day, they are going to take control, they're going to come back towards you, they have a lot of love for you, a lot of feelings for you, so do expect that this person is going to be coming towards you with a cup of love, they want to speak to you, they may even invite you out, you guys are coming in quick, Virgos, with the knight of swords, <laughs> because you're like, yo, how are you coming towards me, that, talking to me like you have love for me, and then you want the cycle to come back into your favor, and then you think I'm just going to sit here, nah, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a piece of my mind, um, and that's because, Virgos, that this person is still keeping a lot of secrets and a lot of things hidden from you guys. And you guys just simply want to know the truth. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio is hiding a lot of shit. So is a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Uh, so be careful with this person's energy when they come back for you. They are taking action to come back, but it's going to be a very fast like a very fast it's like a quick decision that they're going to end up doing this person may even try and be running away from their enemies or the illusions and all this stuff but regardless of they are coming back for you guys virgos and um yeah that's what it looks like to me <laughs> that's what um yeah virgos and just